I just collected seven of the most recognizable jingles and sound effects from the world's biggest brands. We've got McDonald's, Taco Bell, Apple, T-Mobile, Netflix, PlayStation, and HBO. And now I'm gonna see if I can take these seven samples and make an awesome hip hop beat using all of them. Will I be able to do it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. All right, so to get this party started, I went ahead and looked over all of these jingles and sounds, looking for one that can serve as the backbone of the beat. And after careful consideration, I decided that the Macintosh startup sound will work best because it's just a full chord, so it'll be easy to manipulate on the keyboard. I think this type of chill chord progression will work very well juxtaposed with a super driving drum beat, like a So before we do anything else, let's lay that idea down. Today I'll be using the 60 Soul drum kit and I've got the click set to 80 beats per minute. Let's lay it down. Now, let's layer the Mac sample on top of that. To get this Mac sample ready to record, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new software instrument track, open up the quick sampler, I'm gonna pull the sample in, and I'm gonna mark the in and out points. Since the Mac sample is just an F major chord, I'm gonna use that as the starting chord of the progression, which happens to fall in D major. It's simple, but dope. Let's add more samples to it. So I think the McDonald's ba -da -ba 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 sample would work well right here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's see if we can make that happen. This time I'm just gonna pull the jingle into a plain audio track, seeing as I'll almost definitely have to flex the timing to make it work. Let's try to get the sample somewhat close without doing any manipulating to see what we have to work with. Okay, so the timing and pitch is off, but we will fix it. This sample is in the key of C major, so if we pitch it up by two semitones, that'll put it into the correct key for this beat, which again is D major. Sounds great, but now we just gotta fix the timing. I'm gonna go ahead and flex this into the correct timing. Let's see how it sounds. There we go. All right, let's get the T-Mobile jingle in there. I suspect it'll work well at the beginning of the chord progression. Like that. I'm gonna pull it in and line it up so it starts exactly at the beginning. That's sweet and it actually works pretty well as is, but I'm gonna flex the timing so each note is more on time. I'll tell ya, it's too easy. All right, it's time for Taco Bell, one of my favorite fast food establishments. Since it's just a single note, it shouldn't be too difficult to fit this in. I think it would be best to put in between the McDonald's and the T-Mobile sample so they don't conflict. Again, I'm gonna create a new track, open the quick sampler, pull the Taco Bell sample in, and set the in and out points. The bell is just an E note, so I'm gonna have to play it down a step as a D. That way it matches the third chord of the progression. So 
Sometimes you just gotta live Moss. For my entire life, I've been a PlayStation guy, so let's get that going. This is really just an F note, so it makes the most sense to use it on the first chord of the progression, and it kind of has a percussive feel to it. So I think throwing some echo on it will help it kind of feel like a, like a tribal drum. That's money. Okay, so we got two other jingles to put into this beat. And the first one is the Netflix sound. Since the Netflix sound is already in the key of D, all I'll have to do is place it on the D chord and we should be good to go. Sick. The HBO chord is just a C major chord, so I'll just pitch it up by two semitones to make it in the key of D as well. Booyah. All right, we've got ourselves a beat, and this beat is actually for a rap I wrote about consumerism. The average person sees 4,000 to 10,000 ads every single day. And worldwide, advertising is now a $766 billion industry. It is the cornerstone of our modern economic system, and it is inescapable. Many people are fed up, disgusted with the constant bombardment of commercials trying to win us over, while others embrace it, sometimes valuing materialism over personal well-being and meaningful connections. Regardless of how you view it, it's amazing to think how a brand's simple jingle, just like a pop song, can be annoying the first time you hear it. But over time, you get used to it and learn to like it as it embeds itself into the culture we all share. And with that, here's a song entirely composed from famous jingles. You work your fingers to the bone But is it worth it? You gotta keep up with the Jones But does that justify the purchase? Disgusted by the merchant slide Disturbing your scenario Selling all that's worthless To tighten their bankroll When I was young I thought possessions would make me thankful But I bought all the concessions I'm finding my tanks full Too much unfinished biz It's a bottomless pit Diminishing thrift Just to help the richest get rich Because the billboards on Main Street Funnel money towards game suites I'm stuck with third rate seats and I could rise above the corporations and fly But if I tried, I'd probably fucking starve and I'd die Cause it's 20 bucks a salad or a dollar a fry Get in line, would you like the supersize? Tell me where the future lies If this continues on unsupervised Swine, going for a piece of the pie But I recognize, that's just the way that it is It's all a game for the quid We all a slave to the biz We all the same and we live What do you spend your money on? Some of the best songs ever written are extremely simple. But how do we make a simple song sound big and wide? Well, I recently made a video that shows the process I take so you guys can do it too. You can check that out by watching this video here. And until next time, this has been Songs by Spencer, signing out.